Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, Where the Wind Blows. That can be found at the community notice board here in Call. So, let me get this Where the wind blows, the client is Broden. Location, Calm, the inn at Calm. A good friend of mine's in need of assistance with a repair job, but with my health troubles, I fear I do more harm than good. If you're willing to lend her a hand in my stead, come and see me at the inn, and quickly, please. All right, we will take this job. So, over to the inn. It took me long enough, but I finally went and got myself <sighs> To review, she gets off work at 7 on the dot, and her favorite drink is a grassland-style pilsner. Got that? Got it! I'll invite her out for drinks then. Remember, all you gotta do is be yourself. Also, that you owe me a hundred gil if you hit it off. Right, but I got shot down like 50 times now, so shouldn't you be giving me a discount? No discount for you, buddy. Sorry. Who else is talking? <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, I guess they went to a carnival, and he won big. Or maybe. I can't even remember the last time you invited me out for lunch like this. So, how much do you need this time? Put another three hundred gil cover it. Um, five hundred would be ideal. But that's all, and then I can get fuzzy wuzzy. What am I going to do with you? Oh, I guess it just takes those everywhere. Okay. Being good looking comes with its own problems. All right. Anyways, let's go talk to Broden. He's sitting over there, and he's not looking too good. Oh, you're back. I guess that means you managed to shake Shinra. We heard that you've been feeling under the weather lately. Word gets around fast. Didn't expect you to worry about me. But since you're here, can I ask you a favor? A friend of mine wanted me to help her fix one of the old Republic windmills, but I'm in no condition to do that. Do you think you could instead? I think we should help. If not for him, we'd probably be back in Hojo's lab. You don't look so good. What's wrong? You know, headaches and dizziness. Probably my misspent youth. Paying the price for it now. Hindsight's 2020. Headaches and dizziness, huh? Anything else? Sometimes I hear voices, I guess, calling for me, urging me to go somewhere. Sounds pretty crazy saying it aloud. How involved with Shinra were you? I was a company grunt years ago but when my parents died i got out to take care of the family business been running the place ever since why are you pissed at sir or why are you pissed at shinra i'll spare you the grisly details and just say they stole my life from me my family my home is that reason enough for you but I thought Calm was your home. Not anymore. This isn't the Calm I grew up in. My Calm was destroyed by Shinra. And this? A soulless imitation. But I stayed. Because I won't let myself forget what those bastards took. <laughs> Living in hate can poison a man. We'll do it. Thank you. My friend's name is Mildred. You should be able to find her somewhere around the old settlement, out on the cliffside. Look for the windmills. Sorry to put you to the trouble. Just to reiterate, my friend's name is Mildred. She's an odd duck, but a true sweetheart. I'll go ahead and tell her that it helps on the way. Thanks again for doing this. Sorry to put you to the trouble. Okay, well, um, he never Breaking closed up the, the um, secret tunnel, which is kind of weird. He's probably do responsible for the bombings in Midgar. Is believed to have taken Let's talk to this lady. Hello, welcome to the inn at Calm. Rest here. No, I'm good. 
Okay, Suspect let's go look upstairs, see if anything has changed. Alright, there's some people here now. What about at the very top? A bunch of kids and some cats. A whole bunch of cats moved in. Okay, let's see what else is going on in the end, and then we'll head off for our quest. So, anybody in here? Oh, we do have some people. Those reactors are turning everything to dust. Thank heavens we don't have one here, or there wouldn't be a spot of green left. <sighs> don't start with this again, Grandma. You know what? I'm gonna join Avalanche. They're the only ones who care about keeping this planet from turning into a dried-out us. Grandma, please. You of all people should know how much easier life is with Mako Energy. Just enjoy it. We'll take you, Grandma. We'll take you. You'll fit right in with Barrett. Alright, nobody's in our old room. She's scrubbing the walls. And nobody in here. Alrighty, so let's head off for our quest. So we need to go to the windmill settlement that we visited uh, quite some time ago. Let's go ahead and fast travel. Okay, and Mildred is right over here. Did Broden send you? I'm glad for the company. Ain't she a sight to behold? A relic of the Republic of Junon. Shinra can't make them like this, let me tell you. I'm itching to scrape the rust off, get her moving again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. Which is where you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. So, what do you want to know? How do you know Broden? We go way back. Like, way back. The two of us skipped town when we were young, you know? Thought we'd experience what the world had to offer. Eventually, we went our separate ways. He joined the military, and I became an engineer. How to obtain the part? Not through any shop, that's for sure. It's out of production, so you'll have to make it yourself. So, first things first, the transmuter chip. Once you got that squared away, it should be as easy as popping in the materials you need. Piece of cake, right? What happened between Broden and Shinra? Well, turned out he was a natural-born trooper. Was even handpicked to take part in a super-secret experiment. It wasn't long after that we lost contact. By the time we reconnected, he'd already put that life behind him. What experiment? Have to ask him. Though I doubt he'd tell you. Certainly won't tell me, at any rate. Whatever they did to him, though, has something to do with his condition. I just know it. If Broden will get better. He's been to doctor after doctor, but all the tests come back inconclusive. So I'm digging through old Republic archives, looking for something that might help. Something a doctor might overlook. Just hope I find what he needs soon. Nothing, we're good. Windmill's counting on you, friend. Perhaps I can be of service. If you wish to learn more about the Republic of Junon, I recommend visiting Life Springs. The knowledge they contain will reveal the location of transmitter chips, as well as other points of interest. I hope that helps your search. Okay, it says okay. analyze. Life Springs it is. Fine by me. Only fitting that we learn the history of the planet as we seek to cross her. So it says analyze uh, life springs, but we already know where the chip is. Let's uh, continue talking to Mildred, though. 
So, what do you want to know? No, never mind. Nothing, we're good. Windmill's counting on you, friend. Okay, so if you recall, we learned about a transmuter chip right here at Excavation Intel 1 Bygone Settlement. Uh, let's see, our fast travel options aren't the best, I suppose, but we could go... Well, let's just go to this Chocobo stop. How will you travel to this location? Walk or Chocobo? Why does it matter? I guess we'll walk. Why not? Okay, then I can just summon my Chocobo. Seems kind of odd, but whatever. Alright, anyways, here we go. All right, so we got a bunch of ruins over here. This is the place. Hey, Cloud. It seems that a transmuter chip is buried nearby. You should be able to sniff it out with the aid of a chocobo. Once you pinpoint its location, you can ask your bird to dig it up. With that, let the treasure hunt begin. Excavating with chocobos. At excavation points, your chocobo can sniff out buried transmuter chips. Controls, hold up on the D-pad to sniff the air, use the right stick to face the scent. Once you face in the direction of the scent, it will become visible. Follow the scent and press down on the D-pad to excavate the treasure. Alrighty, so let's check over here first. We got a question mark. And I guess we're too far away, let's get a little bit closer. Found it. Oh, and we got transmuter chip armor upgrades one. You can now transmute an enhanced copper bracelet. An enhanced wood sprite armlet. Nice. Alright, we got another question mark. This time over here. Got a transmuter chip for cushion. But we haven't found what we need just yet. Alright, we got another one over here. And we got the transmuter chip for windmill gear. Good, that's what we need. Chocobo dug up everything in the area. Excellent. It seems you found the transmuter chip. With it, you'll be able to create the item Mildred needs. You need only collect the requisite materials and craft the part. If you're having trouble tracking them down, then you may want to try analyzing more life springs. Okay, deliver the windmill gear. We have to make it first. Let's go to our item transmuter. And let's see, where is it hiding? Windmill gear. A key component of the windmills erected by the Republic of Junon. It takes a Quetzalcoatl Talon, so you would uh, have needed to take down the Quetzalcoatl. Uh, two iron ores, one Leia titanium, and five beast bones. Let's go ahead and make it. Transmuter experience gained. Alright, sweet. And since we're in here, what else could we potentially make that we haven't made before? We could make a cushion. That takes four sage and two marjoram, that's easy. Let's see, what else? We can make an enhanced copper bracer. Oh, it takes a copper bracer. We have one owned, but we'd have to unequip it. And what does this enhancement do for us? Enhanced grade one, a souped up version of the original copper bracer. Uh, what does it improve though? It's 14 defense and 14 magic. 
Okay, the other one's 11 and 11. Sure, we can do that. Let's um, unequip bars, whoever's got it. Looks like Tifa's got it. It's gonna unequip her materia though, and that's unfortunate. Unless I have one with two. Nope, I've only got one with one. But whatever, she can put on the metal bracer for a little bit. All right, back to the item transmuter. Let's go ahead and make this. Doesn't give much experience, but it only takes five Leah titanium, so I guess that's not too bad. All right, there we go. We got that experience. And then uh, we do also have a wood sprite armlet. We could upgrade this. That's 11 and 11, but it links the materia. I don't think the other ones were linked. No, they were. Okay, yeah, just more defense and magic defense on that. We can do that. Let's first give, whoop, let's first give this um, back to Tifa. And I forget which materia she had in there, but it was yellow. Enemy skill materia. Okay. Back to our item transmuter. Oh, wait. Not back to our item transmuter. I think Barrett had the wood sprite armlet. Yep. Let's go ahead and give him a metal bracer for just a little bit. Item transmuter. Enhanced wood sprite armlet. That'll take eight mellow oak and a timber, as well as the wood sprite armlet that we already made. Let's do it. Complete. I thought there was a third one, but it went away for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. But there we go, and I don't know what material he might have had. Maybe it was poison? I thought I had that on Cloud. Or no, maybe I had it on Barrett. Alright, he can have it again. Alright, anything else that we can make that would be interesting? Make a talisman. A golden amulet engraved with an ancient script increases one's powers of concentration. 10 iron ore and 5 Leah titanium? Sure. And that got us the craftsmanship 6. You can now transmute a mist high potion and a bottle of ether. But do we have the materials? Probably not. We do not. Okay. I think that's all we're going to be able to make for now. Yep. Alrighty, so let's look at the map and fast travel back to the windmill settlement. All right, Mildred, we have it. Hand over the year, yes. Now that is a quality design. No Shinra knockoffs can compare to Republic ingenuity. Okay, time to see if she works. Back to Broden. Let's talk to Mildred some more. I wish Broden was here for this. We don't love to see these windmills working again. Maybe one day. When you see Broden, you tell him, hurry up and get better, would ya? Got some plants blessing, and during that cutscene, we saw some materia drop. What's this? Cleansing materia. Interesting. 
We could have used that on some of those fights. Uh, let's maybe put it on Aerith. I don't know if she has room for it. She's got fire and ice and healing and MP up and HP up. You know, we probably should give her something with more materia slots, though. I don't think Tifa needs it. Oh, we apparently forgot to put the uh, materia on Tifa. Or maybe we didn't. Either way, we're going to take this from Tifa. And that way, Aerith can get cleansing materia. Allows you to use curative spells like poisona. Okay. I guess we don't get a soon until rank 2, so actually it wouldn't have helped. But, oh well. Let's get that thing leveled over time. And then Tifa ended up with the leather bangle. And I guess that works. Except I don't want her to have wind materia. I would rather her have the enemy skill materia. And steel's fine. We'll have mug soon. Ish. Okay. Looks good to me. So, it is time to head back to Broden. Let's go ahead and fast travel to Calm. you've got a world to see <laughs> she just wants an excuse to travel but I am overdue for a vacation think I've been working myself too hard lately rest would do you good what is this terrible scent it's reminiscent of Hojo's lab <sighs> it's time time to go to leave you okay? It's just the degradation. Every soldier's got to make their peace with it. Now you know why I can't see any old doctor. You're a soldier too, aren't you? Ex-soldier, actually. Didn't mean to scare you. The symptoms aren't always the same. And who knows? You might be one of the lucky ones. Right. Just don't take your youth for granted. All right. You only get one shot at life. And you can't let Shinra take it from you. You can't let them win. All right, our quest is complete. Breaking news at this hour. Avalanche. The anti I left the service to keep this place and my parents' memory alive. I'll be damned if I lose it too because of this illness. I'd heard the rumors about cellular degradation, but didn't believe them. Didn't want to believe them. Till I had no choice. Local insurgents are believed to have played a role. People love escape. to spread rumors about soldiers. Don't you pay them any mind. These collaborators. And is encouraging residents with need to rest. To get my strength up. So I can see Mildred's windmills. I'd heard the rumors about cellular degrad. Okay, so he uh, gave us so oh, some sort of scarf. Let's see if that's any good. Where is it hiding? Whistlewind Scarf. A scarf that makes the wearer feel as if the wind is at their back. Slightly fills the ATB gauge at the start of battle. Ooh, I like that. Perhaps that's an item for Cloud. Which means I have an extra... Uh, what is it called? An extra power wrist guard. I guess I'll give that to Red 13. All right. So, let's pay a visit to Chadley. I know we have at least Breaking a few new Average. combat challenges. Or maybe a couple. I don't know. We have some new ones, for sure. 
I heard that you assisted the Mughals in opening their shop. It's said that Mughal metals, their unique currency, is imbued with a preternatural power to lift one's spirits. Perhaps collecting these metals and delivering them to the Mughals will bring us that much closer to a planet replete with joy and laughter. All right, here's the combat simulator. So, we have two new challenges. First, we have Grasslands Battle Intel, Horror on the Range. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat to procure more biological data about the kaleidoscopic variety of fiends seen in the grasslands. And this will give first strike material, which is fantastic. Uh, we'll just bring our regular team, Cloud Barrett and Aerith. Alpha Dunks and Toxarats. Let's see. I guess we'll waver. Wait for an opportunity. Right now seems good. Braver. Dear block. I can't actually are they weak to fire? They are weak to fire. Let's do um fireball blade actually. Seeing red the Alpha Donk is mad, didn't matter. We trampled me. I think I countered it. All right, three orcs. That's an easy battle. Not that. Weird that that was the second round. First round was worse. And for the final round, we've got these like leveled up Toxic Rats and Elfer Dumps. We'll just do a fireball blade at our. Well, we should get rid of the Venom Rats first. Let's just waver this Venom Rat. He did not like that. This one's getting pretty low too. Let's do a braver. Poison on me. Uh, Aerith could get rid of it. Perhaps we could do that. Although it might be better for her to just heal me. Yeah, it's not doing that much. Let's just have her heal me. Braver! Braver! Man, he's got a lot of health. Maybe I should have went for the uh, stagger. Well, Barrett can help out. I just got like launched for it. That was weird. Stop knocking me over! Alright, well, I don't know if it's worth it to. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it to uh, Braver there. Let me just get a heal for Cloud real quick. Let's give him a big heal. Kira. Alright. Braver for you. And another Braver. So long. Alright, 
We will go for the stagger here. They're taking too long. Focus thrust. Barret, you do focus shot. Let's do this. Braver. And done. Alright, challenge complete. That took 2 minutes and 27 seconds. We get the first strike material. Okay, next up we have Grasslands Battle Intel Planes Stalkers. A series of three person battles in which you pick your team. Engage in simulated combat to procure more biological data about fiends who live wild and free on the grasslands sprawling plains. And this will give vitality up material, which could also be very good. And, uh. Let's get Tifa into the action. We'll go Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith. We got a wolf and some mandragoras. Nothing difficult to deal with here. The cloud just destroyed them. Lots of wings. Come on. Another easy round. No time to celebrate. Oh, we got one of the special wolves, and I think the special mandragores as well. Alright, Thunderclaw. Oh, we don't have a poison, do we? Well, that's unfortunate, but not that big of a deal, I'd say. He's weak to again. I think they're weak to fire. Yeah, let's hit him with a uh, fireball blade. You're dead. High voltage, watch out! Alright, working on this mandrake. Let's go with the fireball blade. This ends here. Uh, focus thrust. Let's Tifa, go ahead and dive bomb him. Or dive kick him, rather. Alright, he's done. Yep, he's done. Alright, then we just have this thing. Maybe we'll have Aerith hit him with magic. We'll even have Aerith double cast. Alright, Aerith, drop your arcane ward. And then. Let's do... Well, I thought I had a stronger fire, but I, I guess not. Let's try fire, see how good it does. This is one more. Eh, pretty good. So long. Brace yourself. All right, that took a minute and 31 seconds. We got our vitality of material. Okay, and we have two more combat challenges, but they are currently locked. You made short work of that simulation. 
If there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. Alrighty, so let's get that materia equipped. I definitely want to put first strike on cloud. So what are we going to drop to make that happen? Definitely not prayer. Definitely not steadfast block. Maybe HP up. Precision defense and assess. Yeah, of all those, HP up I can go without. So let's drop that for the first strike. He can have some lower HP. I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal. So, uh, first strike materia increases how full the ATB gauge is at the start of battle. At rank 1, it's a small ATB increase at start of battle. So, there we go. And then, who are we going to give the HP up to? Maybe Barrett. Or maybe... Maybe Red 13. He could drop... I want to finish leveling up auto cast, but maybe he could drop the fire materia. Yeah, let's do that. All right, HP up for Barrett increases max HP by 10%. And then what about this vitality one? We could have Tifa drop her ice. What's vitality do? Increases vitality by 5%. Increases your vitality. This bonus cannot see. Cannot exceed plus 100% when more than one is equipped. I guess we may as well level up vitality. That's defense and... Uh... Wait, why does it give defense? Huh. Anyways, we, we could get some more vitality. Okay. That should be good. So... How about we head over to Bill's Ranch and we do a little bit more exploration to the south. Maybe we'll go hit up this uh, this tower. I think we can actually fast travel here. Yeah, we can fast travel to the Chocobo Intel All-Rounders of the Grasslands. Did we ever look at that entry? Let's look at our intel. We might not have ever looked at that. Uh, how do you do that again? Is it Chadley? Regional Intel. Huh. I'm not sure if that has an entry or not. If it does, I need to figure out how to get to it. Oh, look at this. If you... I think these are saying these are 20 each. Oh, yeah. Required data points is 20. I For a second, I was wondering if I could get data points by getting more of this material, but apparently not. Okay. Um, anyways, if we figure out the Chocobo thing, we'll take a look. But Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe it's here? Yeah, I think it is actually. Okay, so let's see. We got the tower one. Shookable Intel All Rounders of the Grasslands. You succeeded in catching Pico, who ran away from Bill's ranch. Birds like Pico, who were bred in the grasslands, are all ridden the world over and are considered chocobos of all trades. Not only are they versatile mounts, but they are also easy easy to train. And then Moogle Intel for the Prairie Moogle. Once upon a time, fledgling mooglets would practice taking to the skies on these plains. So soft was the grass here, they could fall dozens of times and still never get hurt. Not only that, but the grass served as a cozy bed for many a fatigued flyer. And then... Just generic entries for those. Same for Titan. And same for the settlement. Uh, Fiend Intel 1, Voracious and Venomous. You obtained biological data on the Vino Rat, a rare variant of the Toxorat. These rodents are said to travel in packs, and their venom is allegedly potent enough to bring down animals as large as alpha dunks. Field Intel 2, Bearer of Grudges. You obtained biological data on the Enmi Dunk, a rare variant of the alpha dunk. Despite their herbivorous nature, this species possesses an instinctual desire for revenge. 
In recent years, this instinct has driven them to such violence that they are on the cusp of being labeled a threat to humanity. Fiend Intel 4, The Wailing Weed. You obtained biological data on the Mandrake, a rare variant of the Mandragora. Unusual among botanical fiends, this species uses its highly evolved roots as a means of locomotion. Perhaps even more unusual is its penchant to unleash a high-pitched scream when disturbed. Fiend Intel 5, Picky Eater. You obtained biological data on the Agrev Agrevricon, a rare variant of the Levricon. Not only are they more ornery than their cousins, Agrevricons will only feast upon prey that their special saliva has transformed into toads. Fiend Intel 6, the Voltaic Canine. You obtain biological data on the Thunderclaw, a rare variant of the Grasslands Wolf. This electric species of lupine was birthed when certain wolves strayed too close to the leaky Mako pipelines that traverse the grasslands. Then we have classified intel, the winged, or the winged, Lacertillion of, of Yore. You obtain biological data on the colossal and enigmatic dragon known as the Quetzalcoatl. Due to its size, or perhaps to its ability to manipulate lightning, this beast has been feared and worshipped as a god since before recorded history. Uh, phenomenon Intel 1, the Wild Bandit Chase. Cloud and company arrive at the lookout, but it seems Beck's badasses have beaten them to the punch. Upon seeing the mercenaries' crew, the group of hapless bandits makes a run for it with Proto Relic in tow. Phenomenon Intel 2, one badass barbecue. As they hide out in the facility, the badasses hold a barbecue. Cloud successfully approaches them under the cover of shipping containers, but Beck manages to escape with the Proto Relic. Phenomenon Intel 3, Diversionary Tactics. Backed into a corner, the badasses dig as deep as they can into their shallow bag of tricks and create a diversion. Their tactic can hardly be called a success, but they still manage to flee in the ensuing chaos. And then Phenomenon Intel 4, Taking Care of Business. It turns out the bandits simply want to sell the Proto Relic to start a legitimate business. After some intense negotiations, Cloud is able to obtain the Proto Relic, while the badasses are able to found Beck's business. Okay, so we're all caught up on that. What is that last one I saw? Ah, this is the one that we're uh, about to do, I think. So, looking at the map again. We are going to go to the Chocobo Intel All-Rounders of the Grasslands Fast Travel. It keeps asking me how I want to travel. I guess I'll go by Chocobo. I guess the only difference is I would arrive on my Chocobo so I don't have to summon it? I guess so, that's weird. But okay, I guess that helps slightly. Ever so slightly. Anyways, you can see the tower over here. Let's speed up these wolves. No God, look how fast I built that ATB. All done. Oh, my my assess material improved. I think that means I can uh, assess everything in a battle now. Let's see. Is that the case? Yep, uses assess on all targets. Beautiful. Don't need to do it individually anymore. I like that. All right, what do we got? We got Levercon times two. Yep, times two. Oh, it's so nice get one in with that ATV. I like it. Ow, stop picking me. Nothing to it. Activate the tower. I said activate the tower. I said activate the tower. <laughs> what is going on here? There we go. Oh, 
life spring nearby. So, don't forget your Moogle medals. And speaking of Moogles, we should probably go buy those other two items. Those earrings with the HP up and uh, the uh, manuals or whatever. Perhaps we'll do that after this life spring. Alright, where's my chocobo? There he is. Let's go do the life spring. Got a friendly owl to help us out. We've also got some buried treasure. There we go. An emerald, not bad. I feel like I have a bunch of those now though. mad at me who's mad at me what's the fight oh that was coming don't overdo it yeah we are getting strong all right looks like we're climbing <laughs> Alright, a whole bunch of materials here. Got it all. Intel, the Mithril Mine, changing with the times. A natural passage through the mountains between Junon and the grasslands. This mine has long served as a rich source of Mithril. The mineral boasts an exquisite shimmer and remarkable strength, and was historically used to fashion the very finest weapons and armor. But it fell out of favor after Shinra developed superior synthetic materials. After the mine was closed, the Republic of Junon converted it into a tunnel for the general public, allowing travel to and from the grasslands. The glistening mithril deposits drew regular sightseers as well. Following Shinra's triumph over the, Rep over the Republic, however, the tunnel has been effectively abandoned. Various sections have fallen into disrepair and the depths are host to untold dangers. Okay, so let's indeed go back to the Moogles and buy the uh, the items we're still wanting. And we'll walk. Kabo! Thanks for coming to our Moogle Emporium. Okay, so we have, oh, we have just enough actually. We have 13. So let's pick up the HP up materia earrings. Earrings which incorporate an orb of HP up materia into the design, allowing the wearer to avail themselves of its magic. So that'd be good to have. And Way of the Fist Volume 1, a manuscript detailing some of martial arts' best kept secrets, increases Tifa's skill points. Beautiful. Now, who do I want to have those earrings? Eris got earrings that uh, give magic power. I think we should probably keep those on her. Red's got the power wrist guards. And maybe Barret? Increases vitality by 5%. Seems like this would be much better. Jeez, look at that increase. Holy crap. Those are fantastic. 
2,800. Yeah, we may as well. Barrett's a tank. Alrighty, so with that, we're gonna wrap things up right here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.